In Los Angeles, we've seen gun homicides surge. The South LA community has seen 59 shooting victims in the first two weeks of 2021 alone. That's compared to just seven at this time last year. In 2020, the total number of homicides in our city were up 36%. Gang-related homicides in particular were up 41%. We need to confront this escalating gun violence emergency head on. And we have to use a range of strategies to address it. Uh, this week, I announced our latest lawsuit against the owners of a property plagued by gun and gang violence. This is part of my office's strategy to do something about this dangerous trend. I mean, here there is a volatile South LA apartment complex where just last month there were two brutal gang-related shootings where people were killed on two consecutive nights. There's also been a previous homicide and arrest for gun assaults, gun possession, and drug sales. Our lawsuit has been filed against two individuals, Winston Yaw and Vanek Chim, the owners of the six apartment complex located at 921 East 91st Street in South Los Angeles. This building is about 450 feet from an elementary school, the Kip Academy. The owners were placed on notice of the problems at this property at a face-to-face -face meeting last January, one year ago, with a prosecutor from my office and LAPD. We're seeking a judicial injunction requiring the property's owners to retain a qualified professional property management company with the skill set to help them run this property more safely, to gain better physical control over who can gain access to the property, to improve lighting and a video monitoring system, and install a state-licensed private security guard. Here are some details about this case. On December 9th, a 25-year-old man, an alleged member of the family Swan Bloods gang, was allegedly standing in the driveway of the building with his brother, a building resident who's also allegedly affiliated with the Swans. Uh, two rival gang members ran up to the property and started shooting. Uh, one man was shot six times and bled to death while his brother escaped unharmed. The next day, approximately 100 Swan gang members and other associates were gathered on or around this property to memorialize the decedent. Several cars driven by a rival gang drove up and unleashed a volley of gunfire. They killed a 28-year-old woman, also an alleged Swans gang member, and wounded another. Over the two nights of murder and mayhem, approximately 80 rounds of ammunition were fired back and forth and around the property. These facts give you a sense as to why we feel this lawsuit is so important. The residents of this neighborhood deserve better than to live with this violence. Since I took office in 2013 to help make our neighborhood safe, we have filed 149 nuisance abatement lawsuits, secured 309 injunctions, and collected more than $2.8 million in penalties and costs. Problem properties like these can be reported anonymously to us, and I urge you to do so online at lacityattorney.org or by calling 213-978-8340. In this new year, be assured, we'll continue working as hard as ever to make each and every neighborhood a safe and secure place. I'm Mike Fewer, the Los Angeles City Attorney. Thanks for watching.